Natural gas is becoming more popular in home buying in Central Texas. In a partnership story with Community Impact newspaper, KXAN's Don Denny took a look at why natural gas matters to consumers. Everywhere you look, around the new Sweetwater subdivision in Lakeway, there's construction. Natural gas is one of the main reasons new residents chose this development. Propane bills were just ridiculous. Rob Bladen moved his family here from oh, Salt Lake City, but first he did some research on natural gas. When we first were thinking about moving here, we saw that it wasn't available in a lot of areas, which was a surprise to us because it was readily available where we came from. In fact, natural gas is just now making an appearance in Lakeway, getting the nod from city leaders to put in gas lines where none existed. In 2012, there were no natural gas customers out in this area, but now after only a year and a half, there are 423 and that number continues to grow. There are only eight companies across the state of Texas that offer propane. Even so, that and electric are what's common in this particular area. Compare that to natural gas across the state. There are millions of customers, Texas Gas Service being the third largest, and still servicing more than 600,000 customers. Rob says his colleague has propane and complains about the cost. It's so high he won't even use his propane during the winter. They just use space heaters. In a typical winter, he says his friend with propane sees several hundred dollar bills. Rob, on the other hand, 30 bucks a month, if that. Which is probably why more and more houses out here are going up and filling up fast. Don Denny, KXAN News. And Texas Gas Service was in negotiations to buy a propane line to offer natural gas where there is currently propane, but no financial agreement could be reached. This story was done in conjunction with Community Impact, and you can read their full story in this Thursday's issue or visit our website, kxan.com. Taking a closer look, back in May, we told you about the Belterra community in southwest Austin that is locked into using propane by the company Texas Community Propane. If those residents choose to switch to all electric, they are bound to pay a breakage fee close to $1,000 to TCP. We've now learned TCP has sent a letter to some residents in another community it services, North Creek Ranch in Williamson County. The letter says TCP will not hold any of those residents to any sort of breakage fee if they choose to get rid of propane and go all electric. We asked TCP owner Barton Prito why one community would be allowed to switch with no break fee but he has not responded to us at this time. One of the big reasons why natural gas is a better deal is the controversial fracking boom in Texas and other parts of the U.S. According to the federal government, prices are nearly 50% lower for natural gas now than they were in 2008. The Texas Railroad Commission says there are about 102,000 wells producing gas in the state as of 2012. That's about 36,000 more wells than there were a decade earlier. And we wanted to know if the growth in the natural gas-fueled homes will affect rebates. Texas Gas Service tells us it will continue that program that gives $225 back to some customers who buy a natural gas dryer and up to $600 for a natural gas tankless water heater.